Messi's name is synonymous with football greatness, but his story is as much about business as it is about the beautiful game. This is the battle of the brands for the beautiful game's most prized asset. The day Adidas stole Messi from under the nose of Nike. Welcome to this episode of Money Thinkers. Today, we have a story that combines the excitement of football, the allure of endorsement deals, and the heated rivalry between two sportswear giants. Get ready to witness how Adidas stole the football sensation Lionel Messi from under Nike's nose in the most lucrative endorsement deal ever. Adidas, the three stripes powerhouses known for their innovation and style. Nike, the swoosh masters, synonymous with speed, victory, and a certain just do it mentality. With Messi's immense popularity, it was a competition like no other. So, how did Adidas manage to steal Messi away from Nike? Let's find out. Hold on tight, because we're about to witness the battle of the giants unfold. From endorsement offers to legal disputes, this story has all the ingredients of a blockbuster drama. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and get ready to be amazed by the audacity, the wit, and the sheer brilliance of how Adidas outplayed Nike to secure the endorsement of the football legend Lionel Messi. As we begin, I would like you to do me a solid by hitting that like button to help me beat the algorithm. I also look forward to reading all your comments. Cheers! Before the epic battle between Adidas and Nike, Lionel Messi's journey to global stardom took a significant leap with his endorsement deal with Nike. Let's rewind the clock and take a closer look at Messi's achievements and how the Nike deal played a crucial role in shaping his popularity and marketability. To fully appreciate Lionel Messi's global appeal, we need to go back to the very beginning of his journey. Messi first started kicking a soccer ball around at the age of five in his hometown of Rosario, Argentina and from a young age, it was clear he had a natural gift for the game. Messi joined the youth team of Newell's Old Boys as a child, where his skills and vision on the pitch quickly stood out. Coaches and parents of other players marveled at how he could nutmeg opponents and score goals that no typical kid his age should be capable of. At age 13, Messi was diagnosed with a hormone deficiency that threatened his soccer career and restricted his growth. But Messi's father refused to give up on his son's dream, mortgaging the family home to fund treatment that allowed Messi to continue playing. By the time Messi was 15, Barcelona had come knocking, wanting to bring La Polga, the flea, to Spain. So Messi left his hometown and everything he knew at a young age to pursue his dreams with Barca's youth academy, La Masia. Messi made his official debut with Barcelona's senior team in 2004 at just 17 years old, and he quickly began racking up records, including becoming the youngest player to score a goal for the club. And soon after, Nike saw the spark in this young prodigy and inked a deal with him. Messi's combination of skills, vision, speed, and goal-scoring ability immediately captivated the fans. Commentators started calling him the new Maradona as he took La Liga by storm. And before long, his on-field magic was not only thrilling fans in Spain, but also catching the eye of the wider football world. Messi's ascent and jaw-dropping goals at such a young age helped establish him as the heir apparent to greats like Pele, Maradona, and Cruyff. Talking about football and greats, I'd like to know who you consider the greatest to ever play the round leather game. Share your thoughts in the comments. The Nike deal proved to be a game changer for Messi's global popularity. It offered him a global marketing platform, giving him access to Nike's extensive network. Suddenly, Messi's face was plastered on billboards, TV screens, and magazine covers worldwide. With Nike's support, Messi's profile skyrocketed. People from all corners of the globe started recognizing his name, his face, and his unmistakable playing style. The Nike endorsement deal not only elevated Messi's status as a football icon, but also turned him into a marketable superstar. Messi's partnership with Nike became a catalyst for his global recognition and marketability. It laid the foundation for the fierce rivalry between Adidas and Nike, setting the stage for the momentous events to come. As Messi's popularity continued to soar under Nike's wing, another sportswear giant was silently plotting its next move. Enter Adidas, the brand that saw an opportunity and kicked off plans to seize it with both hands. Adidas, known for its bold and innovative approach, recognized the potential in signing Lionel Messi. 
they saw beyond the success he had achieved with Nike and believed they could take his stardom to even greater heights. And noticing some tension between Messi's team and Nike, Messi's camp reportedly placed a request for athletic gear, but Nike ignored it. Adidas swooped in. Armed with a lucrative offer and a well-crafted plan, Adidas approached Messi, determined to lure him away from his long-standing partnership with Nike. The details of the Adidas offer remain shrouded in mystery, but it was undoubtedly an offer Messi couldn't refuse. It was a deal that promised not only financial rewards, but also the opportunity to become the face of Adidas football. The allure of a new challenge and the chance to collaborate with a brand that had a rich history in football proved irresistible to Messi. Adidas, recognizing his immense value, made an offer that showcased their commitment to his success both on and off the field. With the stroke of a pen, Messi made the switch from Nike to Adidas, becoming the cornerstone of their football division. It was a seismic shift in the endorsement landscape, and Adidas had successfully secured one of the biggest names in the sport. Adidas wasted no time in capitalizing on the Messi partnership. They released a range of Messi-branded products, including soccer cleats, apparel, and accessories that quickly became fan favorites. The collaboration proved to be a match made in heaven, as Messi's influence and Adidas's innovative designs merged to create a winning formula. Additionally, Adidas utilized Messi's image and likeness to promote their brand. They produced captivating television and print advertisements featuring Messi, showcasing his skills and charisma while elevating the Adidas brand. Beyond the immediate gains, the Adidas-Messi partnership allowed the brand to penetrate new markets. Adidas used Messi's popularity and global appeal to expand their presence in regions where football is deeply ingrained in the culture, such as Latin America and Asia. The strategic move paid off handsomely for Adidas. According to reports, their market share in the global sportswear industry increased and their sales surged, solidifying their position as one of the leading brands in the world. Adidas saw an opportunity and took decisive action, bringing Lionel Messi into their fold. It was a strategic move that would shape the future of both Messi and the brand, forever altering the landscape of endorsement deals in the world of sports. The Messi-Adidas partnership wasn't without its fair share of drama, though. Behind the scenes, a legal dispute unfolded, revealing a surprising turn of events that left everyone in disbelief. It all began when Nike, Messi's previous endorsement partner, claimed they had a binding agreement with the football superstar. However, as the legal battle ensued, it was discovered that the supposed contract was, in fact, a commitment letter, lacking the legal weight to prevent Messi's departure. The media was abuzz with the revelation that Nike didn't have a legally binding contract with Messi. It was a shocking blow for the sportswear giant, as they had to come to terms with the fact that their star player was slipping through their fingers. The media's reaction was a mix of surprise, amusement, and disbelief. Many couldn't fathom how a simple request for athletic gear could lead to such a significant loss for Nike. It became a hot topic of discussion, with pundits and fans questioning the validity of Nike's claims and expressing astonishment at how little it took for Messi to slip away. As the dust settled, Messi embraced his new partnership with Adidas, while Nike had to shift their focus to their remaining football superstar, Cristiano Ronaldo. It was a reminder that in the world of endorsement deals, even the biggest players can be swayed by strategic moves and unexpected twists. The Messi-Adidas partnership wasn't just a game-changer for Lionel Messi, it had profound implications for the sportswear giants Adidas and Nike. The collaboration between Lionel Messi and Adidas had a significant impact on the brand. The results of Messi's endorsement deal with Adidas speak for themselves. Concrete financial data shows that the partnership had a massive impact on Adidas's bottom line. Adidas's market share in the global sports shoe market increased from 6.5% in 2009, the year before Messi signed with Adidas, to 8.6% in 2015, an increase of over 30%. Adidas's annual football boot sales more than doubled from $500 million in 2009 to over $1.2 billion in 2015. Messi-branded footwear, especially his famous lightning boots, drove much of this growth. By 2015, five years after signing Messi, Adidas's overall annual revenue had grown by 50% from $14.8 billion to $22.2 billion. Messi's endorsements and product lines were major contributors. 
Adidas's stock price saw a meteoric rise during this time period, jumping from around $27 per share in 2009 to over $90 per share in 2015, a threefold gain. Investors sure rewarded Adidas handsomely for signing Messi. Forbes estimated that Messi helped generate $200 million in annual revenue for Adidas through cleat and apparel sales alone. His influence proved invaluable to Adidas's finances and growth. Industry insiders attribute much of Adidas's growth over this period to the Messi deal, calling it a masterstroke, and Messi himself Adidas's greatest asset during that phase of expansion. As these quantifiable impacts show, Messi's partnership supercharged Adidas's results across the board, from market share to sales to stock price. The financial data leaves no doubt about the deal's importance. Messi helped transform Adidas into the football juggernaut and brand powerhouse it is today. Meanwhile, Nike, once home to both Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, faced the challenge of losing Messi to their rival. Nike had to recalibrate their strategy and rely on Ronaldo as their main football face. The Messi-Adidas partnership shook the endorsement landscape, challenging Nike's dominance and solidifying Adidas as a formidable competitor. Both brands continue to push boundaries, leveraging the charisma and influence of their respective football icons. And there you have it, the captivating journey of how Adidas stole Messi from Nike, making it one of the most significant endorsement deals in sports history. The partnership has reshaped Messi's career, catapulting him to global stardom and establishing him as one of the most marketable athletes on the planet. It's not just about the money, it's about the opportunities and influence that come with being the face of a global brand. Adidas has strategically utilized this partnership to enhance their brand image, expand into new markets, and boost their sales. The Messi branded products, including his iconic soccer cleats, have become fan favorites worldwide. Meanwhile, Nike faced a tough loss. It's quite ridiculous that such a lucrative deal slipped through Nike's fingers, especially over an innocuous request for athletic gear. The Messi Adidas partnership is a testament to the power of collaboration, the allure of a global icon, and the cutthroat competition between Adidas and Nike. It's a story that continues to captivate sports enthusiasts and business minds alike. I'd like to know your thoughts as well. So drop a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep being amazing.